All right, Elite Dangerous, here we go. Uh, we're just going to do a quick, uh, basic overview uh, how to get out of a station, go somewhere else, uh, maybe do some fighting, and then land somewhere. Um, what I'm planning on doing is is going through a couple of the uh, career arcs that uh, Elite has available. Uh, Elite is like a, it's a space MMO, but it's a, it's kind of a sandbox, so really you don't know... Uh, you really don't know. <clears throat> there's no like quest hubs and things like that, so we're just gonna kind of go on the fly. But uh, there's a couple things you need to know before you do anything, and that is uh, the ins and outs of traveling between systems and getting interdicted, which will happen quite often. So here we go. We are just in the starter ship. It's called the Sidewinder. It's got a decent moonroof, and we are launching from a the outside of a station that is called an outpost. Uh, my destination that I have in mind is a enclosed station, which means we have to fly through a docking ring and then dock on our own. So we're just going to real quick just launch and then away we go. Ship released. So in Elite, uh, there are three flight modes. Uh, this is regular mode, so it's, you fly like an aircraft, basically. Um, right now I'm just basically drifting side by side. Uh, so I've got forward thrust. I'm engaging now. I've got rearward thrust, I've got down thrust, and upward thrust and lateral. Uh, all of which you need to land and take off, but uh, in combat it is pretty handy as well. So right now we're just going to clear this station here. It's kind of dark. I'm just going to get out of the way here. And in this game, you fly everywhere. Like you fly, you, you land and take off on your own, uh, although there is a module where you can automatically dock. And unlike other space games, like uh, EVE is going to be the, the big example, um, instead of just double-clicking somewhere or, you know, picking your destination, you, you're actually going to fly around at faster than, um, faster than light. So that gets me to the second mode of travel, which is engaging super cruise. They call it frame shift drive, but Four, everybody calls it a three, super, super cruise. So two, here we're going to be going faster one, than light. Engage. Uh, well, you can actually go fractionally faster, so in this case, um, I am going, well now I'm going 14 times speed of light, 20 times speed of light, and so on and so forth. So, now we are flying around, and on our HUD, our heads-up display, are stellar objects. So in this here, straight ahead, this is, looks to be a planet dead ahead. We've got another planet over here. Um, if you look at the central radar, which is just below the main windscreen there, you can see that everything is in 3D. So the spheres are planets, the medium spheres. The large sphere is one of the suns. In this case, I think there is only one. So we'll just target that. And yeah, so we've got the sun dead ahead. And there are other icons that are going to be on the uh, radar. Um, I'm cycling through them right now, but these are ships. So square icons, as you can see, are uh, these are going to be NPC ships. Um, it is an MMO in the sense that you can play with other players, whether that's... Uh, uh, it's a selective um, multiplayer, so right now I'm in what's called solo mode, so the only players that I can see in solo mode are friends that I invite. However, if uh, other players impact um, doing missions, uh, emptying you know, the economy by making trades and so on and so forth. Those impacts are felt. Um, it's just I won't see any players if I do not want. And what's nice is I can toggle it back and forth uh, at will. So just as an example here, so I'm targeting here a Cobra Mark III. I'm coming up behind him. And on the left-hand side, you can see it's scanning. And we have some information that we've got on there is his name, where it says expert there. So his name is Brax. Expert means that's his combat level. Uh, expert, uh, obviously, is going to be a little bit better than novice. Clean, if you can see there, that's his uh, wanted level in this system. So if he's committed some sort of crime here, that would say wanted, and that means if I shoot him and kill him, I will get some money. And then the last thing that he's got on there says Party of Cremain. That's basically his local faction. If you see this other ship that I'm targeting, see how it's green, Thomas R.M. We'll see what his faction is. His faction is Cremain Corp, so that's probably aligned to the, uh, the, again, that's a local faction, 
but he's probably aligned with the greater faction of the, the Federation, which is like you know, the big faction. Right? But enough with faction and boring stuff like that. Let's go shoot some stuff. So right now I'm on the left-hand side context menu, and these are the local things we can see. And I'm just going to pick one of these resource extraction sites, if I can target it here, and then lock the destination. Now a resource extraction site, think of it like a public quest in other MMOs. So we are going to go there, there are going to be NPC ships mining, there are going to be NPC pirates shooting at the miners, and then there are going to be NPC security vessels, uh, because we are in a civilized uh, area shooting at the pirates, so we can choose to engage in any of those activities. Uh, just because I've targeted, you can see it's not really on the map there, however, if you see on the radar, uh, to the left of the radar, uh, to the left of where there's a little flame symbol in the 34%, there's what's called the compass. So you see the hollow blue icon, that means it's my target, um, is actually behind me, so as I just do a quick slow loop, now the icon becomes solid, which means it's in front, and then now we are dead ahead. So now we are kicking forward at a, the stately speed of 70 times the speed of light. Now, the computer will automatically speed up and slow down because of mass that is nearby. So when you're close to a planet, your uh, super cruise engines cannot go very fast, the mass interferes. And as I'm approaching this mass here, and that's what the big blue concentric uh, rings coming off the central planet, that's just telling you that that's what's slowing you down. So um, the speedometer, if you will, is on the right-hand side of the radar. So right now you can see I'm uh, up and throttling forward and back. And maximum is right here in the blue. Uh, there's a blue zone for the throttle, and that's your ideal, um, your ideal maneuvering speed and arrival speed. So what we don't want to do is we do not want to overshoot and as you can see we're now coming under one times the speed of light and now you can see that we have a blue planet with some asteroid rings. So we are going to approach and again I'm not actually throttling back the computer is slowing us down. I'm actually going to throttle up because the mass here is actually slowing me down more than I want and the resource extraction site is pretty far. Now, I could, if I wanted to, drop at any one of these asteroids, because each of these rings, uh, the, it is actually billions of asteroids in the game, so I could literally just stop and uh, land at any one of these asteroids, so as we get close to the resource extraction site, that's where all the NPCs are. Now, the autopilot of the ship will also kick us out of super cruise if we are going under 1,000 kilometers per second and we are within 1,000 kilometers. So what I'm doing is I'm basically slowing down, doing a lazy loop here, because if I overshoot this, I'm going to end up in the asteroids and we kind of don't want that, so I'm just going to approach it slowly. And you'll see a blue safe disengage light uh, on the screen. You can see actually the asteroids are coming into view now. So now I've got the safe disengage. I'm just going to get closer just so you can see. And now at any point here, if I disengage, it's going to autopilot me within 10 kilometers of the uh, landing spot. So I'm going to do it right now so I don't die. And boom, now we're in uh, regular space again. So here we are. I'm just going to do some boost. It doesn't put you right in the asteroid field because that would be obviously deadly. And so if you've ever played any games like uh, Wing Commander, um, you might notice that in uh, normal space, there's little bits flying by, uh, just to give the impression that we're moving. We are moving forward at a pretty good clip. And already we can see that there are some ships. So I'm just going to target this guy. Hmm, I'm already being scanned. That's more than likely by a cops. I actually hope not. Because I forgot about something. I want to... Jettison that, and jettison that, and jettison that as well. Yeah, I just got a fine for having illegal cargo because I was carrying stolen cargo, which is fine. Um, I plan on gaining more. Oh, and now I get a fine for getting rid of the cargo? Well, that's lame. Anyways, you don't really have to pay the fine, but the fine will end up being a bounty eventually, and uh, I will be become wanted. So, 
The cops might actually shoot me now, but that's alright. So we're just going to dick around until we find a lot of ships. As you can see on our radar, uh, there's a, quite a lot of icons, and you can see some fighting. So right there is a green ship dead ahead. It's a cop ship, which means it's probably shooting at a pirate ship. And it is. It is wanted. Now, that ship is very large and will probably kill me. So I don't know if I want to engage this one. I am in the starter ship after all. It's just a second three targets. These are all cop ships, so I don't want to anger the cop ships any more than I already did. So here we can see there's a a ship that's mining. He's breaking off, probably because he thinks I'm attacking him. Just do a quick scan. He's clean. So we're okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could start shooting him. But uh, we're gonna not run afoul of the law right just yet. I will deploy my weapons though, just on the off chance that uh, somebody starts shooting, because you never know these guys. So here's just mining. So we'll leave this guy be. Um, but in these areas here, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot of pirates. Here's an adder, which is a small ship. Ah, he's clean. That's too bad. What I really want is someone I can shoot at. He's a master, so maybe we shouldn't engage him. If he's wanted, I will. Ah, uh, balloons. So I could just um, go through my contacts here. And any ones that I've scanned, you see they're, they're green. But I, if there are ones, some of that I'd scanned that were red, for example, I know for sure that they're wanted, but everybody's just kind of chilling out, so nobody's really pirating except for the large ship. We could uh, escalate things by shooting a ship on our own, and you know what? That's what I'll do. First ship I see, I'll shoot at. Uh, maybe not that one. That one's going to kill me. Here we go. Here's a ship. Yeah, you know what? Let's shoot at the wanted ship. So I'm just going to get close. Now, this guy is wanted in this system. As you can see on the left-hand side, it says wanted. Oh, now he's dead. But a lot of times, um, they might be wanted in other jurisdictions. So there is a module that I happen to have equipped. If you see it on the left of the HUD, it's called the K-Warrant Scan. What that does is it basically, think about it like when the police pull you over for speeding or something like that, they take your driver's license and your registration and they see if the car is stolen or if you have unpaid parking tickets. Basically the K-Warrant Scanner does exactly that. It's like, okay, if it's wanted in other jurisdictions, then you get extra money. So in this case, we're going to engage this guy, but I'm going to put my K-Scanner on first. So out of range, so here we go. So on the icon, you can see the two lines meeting in the middle over the python. When that's complete, it means I've done my scan. It doesn't tell you how much you're going to get, and now I'm going to open up. So now the icon shows as red. Now this is a very large ship. If it looks at me even sideways, I'm going to die, but the cops are already engaging him, so hopefully I'm get a piece of the credits. And it looks like he's dropping either mines or uh, loot. A lot of times NPCs will drop loot in the hopes that you uh, stop shooting at them. In this case, I want money. I'm going to get the loot later, despite the cops being there. We'll see if that pans out. It might not. So Python, again, very large. And some of these ships have turrets, so even being behind them isn't exactly safe. But here the cops are doing most of the work. Under attack. And his BI's turrets are engaging me now. So with a python, I want to stay underneath him if possible, which is in this direction here. Just want to stay right there. So I did get 36,000 just for that, so that's very, very good. Now let's see what he dropped off. Uh, canisters, semiconductors. You know what? I want these semiconductors. So here's the illegal part of what we're going to do here. So I'm going to put my weapons away. Again, I'm going to look on... There's quite a lot of things, so... On the targeting icon, you can see I've got the canister. Now, if I deploy my cargo scoop, which every ship has... Cargo scoop deployed. The targeter goes into the uh, cargo minigame. So it's basically saying I'm coming Scan way too detected. fast. Oh, the cops are scanning me already. They might start shooting me because I've gotten wanted. 
I don't have anything on me. Maybe they won't shoot, I don't know. We'll see. Scan finished. Be about your business. Good. Wow. I hope they forget that I'm about to uh, pick up some illegal loot. So we're just going to approach here. They were pretty far away, but these... These will be stolen, so... One of the career arcs is trading. Um, and normally you want to trade in legal goods, not illegal goods. But illegal goods that you find like this are counting as stolen, so you have to go to black market. And the black market only gives you half the value. But I mean, it's not like I paid for this, so who cares. So now they're going to close up and slow down. It goes underneath. Cargo acquired. So now we're going to go to the next closest one. Hopefully the cops aren't going to nail me here. This is uh, two clicks of a solution boost. Cargo scoop rejected. Cargo scoop These cargo deployed. scoops do have a finite lifespan. Uh, I'm going way too fast and I don't want to hit it. If, I, you, if you hit a cargo container too fast, it will blow up. Um, and on the left hand side, we're uh, past the targeting reticle there. As you can see, you just want to keep the, the targeter right dead on. And it'll go under the ship because the cargo scoop is under the ship. But it does say that it is illegal cargo. So if they cops scan me again, they're going to burn me with another fine. But I don't really care about their fines. Because we can just pay that off or we can just ignore them. So I'm going to grab... You know what? I'm not going to push my luck. We're just going to get the hell out of here. So now that we can try to sell our ill-gotten gains. Ill-gotten gains, rather. Now... To the very far, far right, you'll see where there's a blue light that says mass locked. The asteroids will prevent me from going to super cruise at this speed, or at this uh, distance. Above that, you can see where it says illicit cargo. So it is actually warning you that uh, the, if the cops scan you, they're going to burn you. Uh, which means when we go to dock at the station we want to go to, we're going to have to uh, kind of sneak in. But there's ways of doing that. We can shut down some modules, uh, even life support. I think there's a guy trying to, he's saying, what treats do you carry? I think there's a bounty hunter trying to kill me. I'm already engaged my engine, my uh, super crew, so I think I'm going to get away from him. What kind of ship is he in? Uh, he's in a python. If he looks at me sideways, I'm going to die. And notice how my charging is taking forever? That's because the mass of his ship is preventing me from charging. So i got to keep boosting, and then now it's charging. So larger mass ships can prevent smaller ships from uh, getting away, so that is something you got to worry about. Alright, so now we are in super cruise, as you can see by the radar, it's all stellar objects. So now we're going to want to go dump our cargo. Now, I already know there's a black market in Ackerman Station, so we're just going to go quickly look at Ackerman Station, because it's not in Cremain. This is the system we're in here. We want to go to... Air of eight. Just the plot route. And away we go. So it's a couple of jumps. So now we're going to look at our compass. We don't want to hit these asteroid uh, rings. So it's telling us to go to a uncivilized sector first. And jump. So we're going to jump right now. Frame shift drive charge. So this is the third mode of travel, which is just straight between uh, solar systems. It's, think of it like a cutscene, it's wormholing, so you're just going to wormhole in between. Unlike EVE, you don't have to go through a gate, you can go anywhere you want, however, uh, there are modules that it will allow players and NPCs to follow you through hyperspace like this. They'll at least know which system you're going to. So, if a player is chasing you, he can follow you around, which is kind of scary. And when you come out of hyperspace, you always come out next to the nearest uh, the closest heavy mass, which is usually, well, it's always a sun. Uh, sometimes systems have more than one sun, and unfortunately, sometimes some of them are white dwarfs, so you get really, really close. Uh, so right now, I'm just basically cruising along the near the surface of the sun to show that, see the yellow line that's right there? That's basically the, the exclusion zone. So you don't want to get any closer. You don't want to get within that, because it'll kick you out of super cruise and you will melt. If you look at my heat meter there, on the left, it's at 85%. You will start taking heat damage. Heat's a resource you got to watch out for. Uh, shooting lasers for a long period of time will uh, cause heat damage. 
and so on and so forth. But in any case, we are now in a new system. So I'll engage the system map. Oh wait, this isn't the one we want to be in. We are in a intermediate system. We're going to oh, air of eight. I think I can actually skip. Yeah, we're just gonna skip straight to this one here. So now we're gonna engage hyperspace again. It's the same button to engage super cruise and daunting. hyperspace. So it's no big deal. But when we land in air of eight, we're gonna go to Ackerman, and I know there's a black market there. But it's not an outpost, so I'm gonna have to dodge cop ships. So Four, do that. Three, two, one, engage. I think semiconductors are worth it. I don't know. It should be a couple thousand credits at the very least. But we won't know until we get there. All right, so here we are in Aravate. Same deal. We're right next to a star. Um, it's good practice to always throttle back when you come out of hyperspace. Also, the computer knows this is my destination, so it gives me the fancier destination music. System Defense Force, that's cops. They, they, cops can pull you over to scan you, so we're just gonna get to Ackerman Market ASAP. So look at the compass, it's straight down and dead ahead. If you look at the distances, Elite calculates distances in uh, time, which is weird. Uh, so this is in light seconds. So it's kind of it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, once you get within, I think it's 10 light seconds, it goes to thousands of kilometers. So basically one light second, I think, is the distance between the Earth and the Moon, roughly. Don't quote me on that, but it's about that. Uh, you can set, so on the HUD right now you see Air of 810 is 2,000 light seconds away. Just as a point of reference, Pluto is about 58,000 light seconds away from the Sun. Oh, and this is a representation of our galaxy, so every star you can see outside in the night sky you can fly to in this game, including uh, the solar system. It's In the lore it's been blown up, uh, not blown up, but there's been crazy wars and it's been re-terraformed. So. Uh, we'll do that in a future episode. Right now we're just trying to land here. And we are going to have to sneak in. I don't want to eat another fine or get shot at by the station guns. So you can see Ackerman Market is near a Earth-like world. Uh, and you see the station icon to the left. It's uh, a fancy looking... It's got one of those big wheels like from uh, Space 2000, or 2001 A Space Odyssey. So. Again, as my previous statement of, so long as you're within 1,000 kilometers and going less than 1,000 kilometers a second, I will get the blue safe disengage and I'll disengage on manually and it'll kick me out 10 kilometers away. And we're about to get that and here we go, disengaging. Now normally you would just boost straight to the, uh, straight to the docking ring, but we have to do a couple of extra fancy things here. Uh, we're on the wrong side of the ring too, so that's the station. And the cop ships tend to chill out right in front. So we don't want to go anywhere near the cop ships. What we're going to do is, um, if you look to the right of the lower HUD where it says illicit cargo, right below that, it looks like, um, like stereo levels, right? That's actually your uh, radar and thermal signature. What we want to do is, the cops will scan every ship that goes by that they can scan. So I can either drop chaff to break their scan or I can make it so they don't even know I'm there. Um, and if you look on the radar right now, see some of the icons are blurry? That's by design. Those are ones where your computer knows there's something there but it can't resolve what it is. So we want to basically be that blurry target so we can't get scanned or not even show up on the radar at all. So we are actually a pretty good ways away. And it's probably a good time to explain it. There are, there are in fact, two flight modes. You might be wondering to yourself, well, why is it in Elite uh, the ships fly like airplanes? It's by design. The, uh, this is the fourth Elite game back in the mid-90s. The second and third Elite game had true Newtonian physics and flying and everything. was It was brutal. The combat was awful because you're, you know, you're moving in one direction and you're spinning back to shoot and so you're basically like a turret. Um, you can, in fact, enter that mode. 
and that's with flight assist off, which I will engage now. Flight assist. So with flight assist off, you can see it's drifting. So basically, if I do a, a downward motion, it keeps going. Whereas with flight assist on, it will always flight try and center on. it. So because we want to drift without the engines on, we are going to use flight assist off. Flight assist. So I'm about 13 clicks off right now. I'm just trying to line up with flight assist off. And that blue dash right across the middle that is slowly turning, that's where we're going to go. So I'm just going to line up and then flight assist, flight on. assist on. So it basically zeroes everything, zero thrust. And now we're going to shut some modules off. So you have the ability to literally shut certain things off. So we're going to shut the weapons, life support, scanner, our super cruise engines, the heat sink launcher. Actually, we'll keep that on. We might need that the interdictor. All right, so now if you look at our heat signature to the right, it's very, very low. So now I'm going to thrust and then flight go flight assist off. off. So now I'm on thrusters only and I can even shut the thermal ports by going silent running. Silent running. So now you can see I'm literally, I'm black to the world. However, heat is internally building. You can also see the oxygen depleted meter. Yeah, there's oxygen, and you uh, you can lose your cockpit. I have had taken damage where the uh, my ship has turned into a convertible, and I only had four minutes. Um, while you're going to dock, you still need to request docking. Request so the station doesn't care that I'm a criminal. It's the cops outside, so the station's more than happy to take me in. And I'm just using some small thruster adjustments here. At the last second, I'm going to engage... Flight assist, Flight assist on. on, put my gear down, and get right in. Once we're in, Landing gear deployed. I still want to put my shields on and everything, because with no shields, if I had hit anything, we'd be dead. So I'm just going to remember, oh yeah, I'm still on, uh, I'm still on silent running. Landing so now we're going to take silent running off, which will put the shields back on slowly. And while that is happening, we'll put the sh all these back on. Because if you forget to do this, when you leave the next time, nothing's going to be on. So now that we're good to go, now we're inside. So, as you can tell, uh, in stark contrast to the um, outer station that we started at, this is a big hollow Coke can. And we are now inside. And it... On the bottom there, there says proceed to landing pad 16. Shields online. So we have to actually manually land. Oh, there's pad 16 right there. So now we're just going to thrust forward. And we are just going to land using some thrust and so on and so forth. This takes a bit of getting used to. Um, but if you do the tutorial missions and look at the tutorial videos by Frontier Developments, they're actually very, very good. I recommend you do that. I don't read manual, so I never bother to do that. but. So here we go, we're just going to come in. And you can see now the radar has turned into the landing minigame. So basically we want to put the little red stick, as you can see the, where it is there. We want to put that in the middle, and it'll go blue. And then now it's blue, and now we just want to do downward thrust gently. And then we're Locking magnetically successful. locked. Engine so now we're going to enter the hangar. And starport, whoops, starport services. We're going to see what we've got here. So this, every station has one of these uh, menus. The one we really want is contacts, and we want the black market. I want to sell illegal goods. Oh, well, we made a thousand. So now we're just going to sell both of our illegal goods. For some reason, I thought uh, semiconductors were worth more, but they're not. So there's our illegal gains. There's another contact we can talk to, that is our Pilots Federation. You see here it says no criminal record. That's because in this system, I don't have a criminal record. It's in the previous system. So again, you run in that K-Warrant scanner. If somebody does that on me, they'll find that I am wanted somewhere else. Local security means the guy that I killed, remember he was worth 36000 so we can cash that in. And these are... Or sorry, Pilots Federation, I think these are for murders. So if I'd shot and killed a guy, this is where this would be. Sorry, in a patch they just moved it. So these are all my finds combined. So this was uh, 
all my fines that I shouldn't have incurred, but we'll just pay them off. We still made a uh, we still made a, a net gain. Uh, trade dividends. If you play with another player, uh, you get an escort bonus. Combat bonds. Um, if you want to be a fighter, uh, there are conflict zones, so you cash these in here. Black market. We are just did. Um, just gonna give a quick overview of this before we shut down and do the next video later. But uh, munitions. I mean, I've got lasers, so I don't have anything that needs ammunition. But some weapons that do more DPS, they take ammunitions. Repairs. I somehow didn't take any damage there fighting all those dudes. Uh, shipyard is where you buy new ships. Commodities. That's where you buy stuff to trade. The legal version. Uh, Universal Cartographics is for exploring because you can just you can make money just by exploring. Outfitting is putting modules on your ship. And bulletin board, this is the quote unquote missions. So it shows you available missions that you can do, some of which if you take some of them you may die. It doesn't realize that you're in a small crappy ship. Um, what's weird is these news is are also sorta of missions. Uh, like this will tell you best sellers for market updates. So this kind of gives you a hint if you're a trader. Uh, but let's see here. Uh, there we go. So sometimes they'll give you, they'll tell you where to go. Uh, there's community um, community missions you can do and so on and so forth. It's great. Uh, there are there have been player run groups that have tried to swing the local faction of a, an entire system, and everybody tries to pitch in, or you know some jerks will try and uh, prevent them. But anyways, that's far beyond our scope. We did what we accomplished, and that is to show point A to point B travel. We did some fighting. Uh, we kind of got nabbed with some illegal goods. We grabbed some more illegal goods. Killed a dude worth 36,000 just by kind of basically ambulance chasing, but we were cop ship chasing. Uh, and we were able to successfully smuggle into a system some illegal goods. So I think I'll call it there and catch you guys later.